In today's video, I'm going to show you how to use the date picker in Flutter. When you need a user to input a date, most of the time it's easier and more practical to use this solution than trying to build your own. Here we have an empty app with the home page. Here we'll add a text widget to display our selected date. In the text widget, we are going to display the date time property converted to a string. But if the property is null, we'll just show some text to let the user know that nothing has been picked yet. Before we do that, we need to create that date time property. And over here, we are getting a warning. It says that this class or a class which inherits from is marked as immutable, but one or more instance fields are not final. And since our date time is going to change whenever we pick a new date, we should make this a stateful widget. Now let's create that text widget that's going to display the date. So as we said, if the date time is null, then we'll just say nothing has been picked yet, and if it is not null, then we'll convert the date time to string and display it. Alright, now that we have that, let me just remove this and actually create the children array. Okay, now that will work. Now also we need to create a button that is going to trigger the date picker. To show the date picker, we'll use the show date picker method. There, we will need to provide a context, initial date, or in other words, the default date our date time picker is going to be set to. And also, we need to provide the first and the last date, which are just going to be bounds to our picker. Let's call that method in the onPress method of our button. Here, we need to provide it with the context, set the initial date to the current date, and we'll be able to retrieve that using the datetime.now method. Now let's set the first date to be in the year 2001 and the last date to be in the year 2021. Since show date picker method returns a future, there are multiple ways we can retrieve results. We can do it using the async await syntax or we can do it using the then syntax. I have a video coming up where I will explain it in depth, but over here we'll just use the then syntax. So over here let's write dot then. And here we need to pass in a function that will execute once the show date picker function returns a result. That function takes in one parameter which is the result of the show date picker function. And in this case it will be the date user picked. If the user didn't select anything but just pressed cancel, the show date picker function will return null. And in this function we passed in, we'll just change the date time property value using the set state in order to update the value of our text widget. Okay, now let's run the app and see how this looks. Alright, now that the app is running we can see that this does not really look great, so let's just center this vertically using the main axis alignment property and set the main axis alignment to be in the center. Alright, now let's refresh the app and make this also horizontally centered using the center widget and now this looks a little bit better. And over here let's set the text theme to make our font over here a little bit bigger. Alright, now let's reload the app. Okay, now this looks a lot better. Now let's click on this pick a date. And it brought up the date picker. So over here, let me make this bigger. And now we set the maximum date is 2000. Actually me made this, let's just make it 2021 and save it. And show it again. And let's go to that year. It's going to take some time. And here we are on the 1st January 2021 and we cannot go any further. And also I can go all the way back to 2001 to prove that this works, but if you really want to do that, do it yourself. So now let's pick some random date, November 2019, okay. And here it says, what is this, 12th November 2019 at 00. zero. Now we can format this differently using some functions, extracting the just the year or just the date or whatever, you can do that yourself. We can also do this in different like formats, we can do it like this. And this just changes this a bit. So yes, there's a lot of stuff you can do with this. And whenever we go to pick a date, it just goes to the current date. But what if we want to have, let's say I pick this date, and then I want, when I click over here, to have it defaultly set to the date I just picked. We can do that over here by not using the date time now, but see if the date time is null. Then we use the date time now, and if not, then we use the current date time that was picked. And now let's save and reload this. 
and let's pick something from August save and now when I go to pick a date it's at the August I mean this really depends on your personal preference and the requirements for your app and this daytime picker is going to look differently on iOS as much as I'm aware it's going to use the native iOS date picker but since I do not have an access to a Mac I cannot show it over here and that's pretty much it there's not that much to it it's just nice date picker you can set the initial date, first date, last date. I hope you enjoyed this video, that you could learn something new from it. If you want, subscribe to the channel for more content like this. And also follow me on Instagram. I like to interact with all of you over there. And that's pretty much it. I'll see you next time.